Okay, we're talking today about how to sell your movie idea without Hollywood connections. Well, the best way, and I've harped on this so many times, the best way is to go to markets. Go to markets like the AFM, the American Film Market in Santa Monica, California. Go to the European Film Market, the EFM in Berlin, uh, or Cannes, the Marché de Film in Cannes, France. I would say probably the best bet if you're an American watching this is go to the American film market. Cannes would probably be number two. Cannes is somewhat expensive, but there's it's the biggest one. And then European is more specialized. The, the Berlinale uh, is going on at the exact same time. So you have the um, B- Berlin market at, also going on. And I would say there's a little bit more specialized, a little higher level. So in that order, that's where you should go. But I always say go to markets instead of film festivals. You have to choose one or the other. It's it's great to go everywhere, sure, but go to markets instead of film festivals if you had to choose one or the other because the markets are where the people that are doing the decision making, doing the uh, financing of the movies and the producing of the movies, that's where they're going to be. They're not going to just be at film festivals. Maybe randomly you'll meet somebody there, but the markets, that's what they're going for, right? So the first step is to go to markets and that will set you on the course in the right direction. So what you want to do when you go to these markets, and let's take the American film market as a perfect example of this, uh, you want to go around and try to meet different companies and sales agents. First off, if you're networking and you're at the bar at the, at the uh, ground floor of the Lowe's, okay, great. You know, hey, how you doing? Nice to meet you. You know, I'm Tom Malloy. This is what I do, blah, blah, blah. So you're always trying to make those connections. Hey, what, tell me about yourself, Paul. And then Paul gives you their information and you go, yeah, let me get your card. I'll follow up. All right. And so those things are really smart to do. So always be networking that way. And don't be afraid to ask for contact information. That's what everybody does. Uh, that's just accepted practice. But when you're going into these companies and you're meeting them, you're looking for maybe the person that's the head of acquisitions. Head of acquisitions is going to be the person that's the person responsible in that company for watching the movies, for taking them in, right? So if you have a completed film, that's exactly who you want to talk about. Is the head of acquisitions or somebody that works in acquisitions. And uh, that's the person you want to get in with because th- that's their job is to watch your movie. So you go around, hey, I'd love to talk to somebody about acquisitions. Now, say you don't have a film yet. You're, you're still uh, developing the movie. So you could still talk to somebody in acquisitions. And uh, I know in my company, he does a lot of the development. Uh, our head of acquisitions, David Lawrence. Uh, so I know that th- that works for our company. But sometimes they'll have somebody else that a development person or a production person. So you can ask, you can walk in in a company and in AFM, they're all in hotel rooms and uh, say, hey, listen, I have a film that we're trying to get going. I'd love to talk to somebody in, in development from your company. And so development is the word there because you, you don't have the film yet. And so maybe if you're lucky and it's, the timing is right, you'll get a sit down meeting. So that's when you got to be ready with your pitch. Your pitch has to be concise, has to be clear. I've done numerous videos on pitching and how to do it right. We have instructional videos on how to pitch, how to close financing, close investors, close distributors, steps to the close. We have all that stuff on Filmmaking Stuff HQ. So I'm not going to go into the specific details on how to do that right. But what I'm saying that is that if it is right, when you go in there and you pitch that that um, company, that one, they could say, let me see your film when it's done. And, uh, and you may have it already, or you may, it might be, you know, end of the year, you're going to have it done or something like that. So then you've, you've got that person ready to watch your movie, or they may say, this is great. Send me, send me the script, send me some more information, right? So what you're always doing is trying to get those connections and kind of push them down the road. And the most important part of all of it is to follow up. I've seen it so many times. People have taken my card. Oh yeah, I'm Tom, I'm going to hit you up. And then nothing. <laughs> and they were asking me for, I mean, like they were, they, they were pitching me. It was a good pitch. Trying to get my card and then didn't even follow up. I, I will say that I would, I think maybe 2% of people are actually people that follow up. That's how, that's how little it is. So if you could just change that one thing about yourself and follow up with every single person you meet, you will be in that percentile that is so small and could, that alone could lead you to success. I've always said one of the major keys to my success is my follow up game. My follow up game is so tight. I'll get a stack of cards from a market or something like that. I follow up with every single one, even if I don't know what could come of it. Hey, let's have lunch. Let's do a Zoom. You know, let's talk. Find if there's a way to synergize and figure it out from there. But every single person you follow up with. So go to a market, meet the right people, follow up with those people, form a relationship, and now you'll have access to connections. Doesn't matter if you live in Hollywood or not, you've got those connections in your pocket.